this is episode seven. This is Mycroft Test Inc. And we are here to check in with everybody and see how things are going. Um, we've, uh, in our little pre meeting here, we've already discussed that uh, we have one working web 4.4 that's got yield. Ken's got that. Um, so why don't we start with Ken? Uh, can you give us an update on what's going on there. Uh, and your video is. Uh, yeah, so it was called Friday. I was not on the violation of the ICS module under the QC operating system. Uh, I got that working, but I couldn't get it work recorded. Uh, today I actually got it recorded. And uh, so basically I created all the new modules that have stage 201 and now our hardware layer. And uh, so I can actually just let it to the volume driver. Uh, so that's all integrated. Now requires parameters to be set, not the default. That seems to work in the past the microphone. So on this side, I was inside the check the module as we came on to figure out how to override the particular microphone personality I have to do with the So the point is I got a recording from the command line, but I don't have micro recognized as microphone yet uh, because it's a 48 Um, I'm working on that. Uh, and then the switches are actually mapping on the CIO. Plus, the particular personality board requires you to give the uh, one volt to the uh, Xbox chip when you bring it up, otherwise, it's kind of in a independent state. Uh, and so the switch can to be updated to that. Uh, I have a minor issue with the lead, it's not filled, it's not detecting the time. But uh, I don't know. They generally work, but I'm not going to say that. I also was with logarithmic volume instead of just regular volume. So the old volume is very simple. You can just say, okay, well, I've got 10 lens, and you know, what's the range of values, and then the volume is like 10, and that's how much range of it. But now I actually take the value and then, you know, regular flows from the end of log. Might be better, might not. I don't know. Uh, but I figured I'd put it in there. Uh, and so now I'm going to put together a full request uh, tomorrow for get, for get. But even if he doesn't accept it, it's going to take two. He can just pull the latest, I believe. So my goal is to have QP and micro. Yeah. 
got all the ordering going from Mark to that kid. Um, we're on the phone with the speaker folks. Um, you're aware that we're using the same driver as our friends at, at Apple and Google, yes. There. Well, I wasn't sure it was the same exact driver, but I knew it, it was the same manufacturer as uh, some of those guys. Yeah, so anyway, so we, we there's some challenges there with inventory, you know, related to Christmas and smart speakers and whatever else. And we do have several hundred of those speakers rolling, but in terms of the 10,000 unit quantity that we're going to need, um, they're going to have to custom make them for us. Uh, the one benefit that we do have there is that we have apparently an established relationship with them because they asked about me and uh, I paid them on time and everything else. So that's a, that's a good thing. And uh, they'll be manufacturing them for us. Uh, we're using Bolt Depot for all the screws and nuts, all that stuff's on the move. Um, I am still waiting on on Eric's final final version of these uh, devices. The one thing I do want to bring up, Eric, is did you change the this is the back plate with the insert for the for the power supply, right? And then here is the Mark II smart speaker that has channel cut into the audio chamber. So the original concept was that the audio chamber between the dev kit and the audio chamber in the in the production unit, which is like the one unfolding, would be identical. Did we get rid of that channel for the production unit? Yes, we did. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the side of the, the, turn the board down and then just have the power or the power jack straight up the back instead of uh, face down. It, my uh, my reasoning for wanting to have it face down was I didn't like the idea of this thing sticking out the top of the part. That was weird. But we're going to do right right angle connector. And that'll still that Okay, so we're going to do a right angle connector on the power supply? Yep. Okay, does it should be the part? It should be the part. Okay, so we're going to. Okay, so we'll double check and I'll make sure that she knows that because she's, you know, that at some level we're ordering equivalents when we can. And so if that's a. I've got a drawing. I'll send her a drawing. Okay, just. I just want to make sure that we, we get the right part. And that's going to be the same for the, the dev kit, yes? It'll have the 93 connector on it? Might as well. Okay. Um, yeah, so anyway, lots of drama surrounding getting everything moving. We decided to ship everything to Warren. So, uh, that, you know, we may ask Chris Vader and Derek to go into the, into the Warren facility um, to work together on getting this stuff out to the integrator if we select the integrator. Um, yeah. And then I, I remind you that I have two boards promised for rollover. Yes, they're going to show up for me on Friday and I'm going to be able to get them in the mail. <laughs> yes, that was the summary from Derek and Ken. Okay, great. And then uh, I, have a copy of I don't care where they go as long as they go to our friends at rollover on Friday. Okay, yeah, they're coming to me. Okay. okay, and then are we going to print, are we going to 3D print the, the ones that are going to those guys? Are we going to have our prints ready to go, or are we going to send them that flexi? I think he's pointing at his 3D printer. It's in progress. Okay, so we're sending them 3D prints. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's the final update for me. Um, uh, pending approval from the team, we may have some, some uh, the business team, we may have some, some good incentives for the broader community to, um, you know, as we, as we sort, stack and sort these orders to figure out who's paying what, when, and we're looking at some, some promos for people who are willing to uh, step up to the plate and maybe take some additional deliveries up front. Um, and then, yeah, I did military stuff all weekend. So, anyway. Uh, that's my update. So I'm sorry if it's a bit of a discombobulated mess. All right, but we got some good info out of there. Um, we've got parts around the move, so all, all, everything is coming together, which is great. Um, so for myself, um, I had a bit of a, a short conversation with Kevin again on the PCPA stuff, uh, trying to get that rolling, and um, the uh, that's pretty much it um, for me uh, on, on the development side. That's a biz dev issue. Some family issues to deal with, so. Um, but uh, looks like everything's coming together, so I'm very. Uh, I think you all should be too, because you're all doing the work. This is pretty awesome. So uh, I'm, I'm 
I'm really excited about what's going to be happening over the next month. So, um, anything else that we need to touch base on or any questions? Yeah. All right. Well, then, uh, until tomorrow.